Hey everybody, my name is Glenn Wharf. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I'll just give you a quick background about myself. I've been playing bass professionally now for about 40 years. And uh, most of that in the studio, although I do a fair bit of touring and live TV shows and that kind of thing, have done a lot of that throughout my career. Uh, I want to speak to you today about this new bass from Stonebridge that I'm quite excited about. And uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to tell you that as a working studio musician, I have spent literally a lifetime gathering up instruments, uh, electric basses, uh, double bass, uh, and, and have gathered up a lot of examples of both of those things because I'm always looking for basically a sonic palette that I can offer people in the studio or in a live show, whatever the case may be. So I'm always looking for different uh, sonic textures, if you will. Being that I'm uh, active as a double bassist, I've, I have long kind of shied away from the concept of the acoustic bass guitar until this instrument came along. I've tried a number of, of different brands, have even owned some from time to time through the years. Never really found anything that, uh, certainly nothing that would take the place of a, of a well-recorded, good-sounding string bass. But uh, this one is, is, is a very, very musical-sounding instrument, in my belief. And uh, while uh, it, it does not sound like a string bass, it doesn't sound like just an electric bass either, obviously, which is the appeal of, of, of an instrument such as this. When the folks at Stonebridge talked to me about building something, they very specifically said they wanted to build a five-string instrument. And again, to be honest, I was a bit skeptical. I just thought, well, I don't know. I, I had played a few five-string acoustic basses, none of which really seemed structurally strong enough to carry the low B, the fundamental. And while this is not a loud instrument, it's a, it's a beautifully even instrument, and it has no problem at all carrying the low fundamental of the B string. I'll just play a bit of that. One of the struggles I've found with any kind of five string instrument is, is a lot of times the overtones tend to get very cloudy down particularly in that low low register to the point where sometimes unless you solo something up in the track you can't really tell is, is, is the guy playing a D, a D natural or a D sharp or a C sharp uh, but again this, this bass although not a loud instrument has a good fundamental and a great deal of clarity we have used the bass on a couple of sessions. Actually, my friend here, John Albini, I'm recording this video in his wonderful studio called Sonic Eden. And John uh, uh, was one of the guys that actually recorded this instrument for the first time for him. And we, we were very pleased. We put a mic on it. And uh, it sounded lovely, really great. So again, one of the things that, that, that I look for in an instrument is how does it record, and this records beautifully. It's got a very even uh, response throughout the whole register. I'll just play a bit. And again, this is, to me, it's a lovely instrument to sit around on the couch, as a couch guitar, if you will. It's great for practicing along with things where I don't want to have to bother with an amp or a set of headphones. Great for working things out. But again, it's a very usable instrument in the studio. It does have an internal pickup system that I'm not qualified to speak about. I, I have not, to be honest with you, not used it as, as, as such yet. 
but uh, given everything else about this instrument, I would have to believe it's very well thought out and very musical sounding. So uh, that's essentially all I can tell you about it. I will say this, I, I have a little curiosity about possibly restringing this, putting a low E on the bottom and going up in force from that so that it would have a high C. I love the sound of baritone acoustic guitar and this would very clearly put it into that register. That may be an experiment for the future. But anyway, upshot being, I'm very, very excited about this instrument and that's something I don't generally have a lot of enthusiasm for, for new instruments. But uh, check out these folks at, at, at Stonebridge Guitar. They make an absolutely beautiful instrument. Thanks so much.